here we determine g inverse of x uh, which is the inverse of the function g and also determine the domain and uh, range of uh, g inverse of x so first uh, let's determine g inverse of x uh, to find the inverse of uh, any function we first uh, represent the function as in terms of y so we replace uh, g of x by y and so therefore we get uh, y equals uh, 9x minus 2 divided by 7x plus 1 and in the next step, uh, we interchange the uh, y to x and x to y. That is, uh, all y's has to be replaced by x and all x has to be replaced by y. So let's do that. I'm replacing this y by x. And so this equals, uh, we have to replace this uh, x by y. So therefore, it will become 9y minus 2 divided by 7y plus 1. And from this equation, we should solve for y which basically represents the inverse of the function g. So first, uh, let's multiply both sides by 7y plus 1. And so we will have uh, x times of uh, 7y plus 1. And this equals uh, 9y minus 2. Now let's distribute this uh, x into the terms inside the bracket. So it will become uh, 7xy plus x. And this equals uh, 9y minus 2. And since we have to solve for y, I'm going to subtract this term from both sides. Also remove or subtract this term from both sides. So that I will have only y variables on the left side and other variables and the constants on the right side. And so when we do that, uh, we get uh, 7xy minus 9y. This equals, uh, if you subtract x, we will have uh, negative x, uh, negative 2. Now, let's factor y from both the terms in the left side expression. And doing so, we get uh, 7x minus 9 times of y. This equals uh, negative x, negative 2. So, now we can solve for y by dividing both sides by 7x minus 9. And so, we get uh, y equals negative x, negative 2 divided by 7x minus 9. Or otherwise, we can also rewrite this as by factoring negative from this uh, numerator expression. When you do that, we get uh, negative of uh, x plus 2. This is uh, divided by 7x minus 9. And we can put this negative as uh, common to this uh, fraction. So it is a negative of x plus 2 over 7x uh, minus 9. And so this is the expression for g inverse of x. And finally, in the last step of finding the inverse, we replace this y by g inverse of x. So therefore, we have determined that uh, g inverse of x equals uh, this expression, that is uh, negative of uh, x plus 2 divided by 7x uh, minus 9. We now determine the domain of uh, g inverse of x. So here we have this uh, g inverse of x. And this equals uh, negative of uh, x plus 2 over 7x uh, minus 9. This one is a rational function. So the domain of uh, any rational function is uh, all real numbers except the denominator equals uh, 0. So let's uh, first uh, determine at what x the denominator equals uh, 0. So we have to set up uh, the denominator expression equals 0 and solve for x. So this gives uh, 7x equals 9. Solving for x, we get uh, x equals uh, 9 by 7. And this means uh, uh, the domain of the g inverse of x is all real numbers in x except uh, this value. That is, uh, we should exclude this from uh, the domain of the function. Basically, x uh, should not equal uh, 9 by 7. Now, let's write the domain in interval notation. So, therefore, we write uh, the domain of g inverse of x. And this equals, uh, we can start from negative number to 9 by 7. This is not included. And then union 9 by 7 to positive infinity. So this is the domain of uh, g inverse of x in interval notation.
We will now determine the range of uh, G inverse of X. Uh, for this, uh, we use the definition of a function and its uh, inverse function. That is uh, domain of G of X equals uh, range of G inverse of X. So to determine the range of uh, g inverse of x we can find the domain of a g of x so let's find the domain of a g of x uh, this one is a rational function and so therefore the domain is uh, all real numbers uh, except the denominator equals uh, zero so let's set up this uh, denominator expression equals uh, zero and determine the x where it uh, is uh, zero so x equals uh, negative one by seven and this means uh, the domain of uh, g of x is all real numbers except uh, negative 1 by 7. That is, uh, x should not equal uh, negative 1 by 7 is the domain of uh, g of x. We can put this in uh, interval notation. So, therefore, we see that uh, range of g inverse of x and this equals uh, the domain of g of x and in interval notation this equals uh, from negative infinity to negative 1 by 7 union negative 1 by 7 to positive infinity so therefore this is the range of uh, g inverse of x in interval notation